Hello and welcome to the Rosetid series. Today we're going to look at the Rosetid number 14. So first let's look at the score. Key signature, D major, F sharp and C sharp. Tempo, tempo di polacca. So good tempo will be quarter note equal 96. Time signature, 3-4, 3 quarter notes per measure. Dynamics, piano to forte. Articulation, slurs and staccato. Breath marks, some are already written, so use it. And type of etude, it's a technical etude. So how to practice this etude? Practice slowly. First divide, put on your metronome 80, that will be your eighth note, and then make your way up to 132. When you feel comfortable, try to play it at quarter note equal 80, and make your way up to 96. Practice one melodic line at a time from one breath mark to another. Don't move on to the next line until notes, rhythm, dynamics, and articulation are controlled. Make music. Think of what an opera singer would do with this line. You can try to sing it too. When the two first lines are controlled, put them together. Then work on the third line and add it to the two previous lines, and so on. So a few tips before starting to practice this etude. Let's look at measure two. Here in measure two, we have a grace note, E. So I'll just play it. Another measure, measure four with grace notes. Here we have two of those. And then a trot. So I'll play the whole measure. Another measure, measure ten. So here we have a trail on E, and then ending of the trail with three notes. Another measure, measure 12. We have a trail on D, and ending of trail C sharp B. At measure 22, we have a few grace notes. So I'll play without the grace notes and then I'll add it. Now with the grace notes. Measure 28. We have here a D and we're going to trill to E and then C sharp D. Okay, so here the C sharp you can take it on the left, on the right pinky, it's up to you. I personally prefer on the left here, but it's up to you. Measure 36, we have a trail on B. sharp because we have C sharp in the key signature. So C sharp on the right here. I'll do it one more time. Then finally, measure 51, we have a gruppetto. And here it's a gruppetto that we've just seen in the previous actually previous etude. But here it's gonna go fast because it's on the eight notes. So I'll do it one slow and then one more in the tempo. It's just going to go faster. So we look at a few tips on that etude and now I'm going to play it and you can follow along the score and I hope it will help you.